What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are using the Champions League Road to the Final card, Gabriel. Now Gabriel is currently going for 800, then 30,000 coins. Is he going to be worth it? I can already tell you, no. It's just simple as that. 800, then 30,000 coins for a player with a three-star weak foot. No chance. The reason I picked him up for that price... Their player review, just simple as that. Either way, 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting, 74 physical with 75 passing. Gonna be honest, that's why he does not look too bad at all. Now, if we are talking about how they are actually doing in the Champions League, Man City are currently on nine points with all three Ws and Porto is behind them. Now, I'm going to be honest, they're not in the easiest group, okay? They're not in the easiest group at all. They're making it look easy, but they're not in the easiest group. So stuff could go downhill very easily. But for now, I feel like Gabriel is probably going to be guaranteed an upgrade, which means this card is going to go up to 86. 5 foot 9 for a striker is not too bad at all. High, high work rates. Interesting. Because he's going to be making those runs in behind consistently. But at the same time, he might be actually coming short way more often than I would like him to. So we're going to see how that actually plays off. Four star skill moves is absolutely insane. Three star weak foot is not terrible. But it's not what you're looking for, especially if you're spending 830k for a player. Now, he is on a 100 chem style. He is on 10 chem. There is other chem styles that you can obviously, obviously use on this card. But I'm going to be honest. I feel like the 100 chem style is probably the way to go. 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed is absolutely insane. Shooting, 95 attacking positioning, 98 finishing with the 89 shot power as well. Does he have any shooting traits? He does not. But... I feel like it's not going to matter too much because I still feel like he is going to put the ball into the back of the net. He has got 79 long shots, 95 volleys with 88 penalties as well. Now, when it comes down to passing, 80 short passing, yeah, is pretty decent. But then you look at a 69 long passing and you think to yourself, what's happening here? Why hasn't he got at least like 73, 74? EA, you know, you could have boosted the passing by like a decent, decent amount. So he's obviously decent when passing, but... It is what it is. We are going to have to deal with it. Hopefully, his passing does obviously go up after time, but we'll see. Dribbling. 93 agility, 92 balance, 89 reactions, 88 ball control, 88 dribbling with the 83 composure as well. Lowest stat being the composure. I feel like he's still going to be be, uh, be burying the shot. I don't feel like he's going to be hitting the post too often. So I feel like the composure is still pretty decent. How he's going to feel on the ball, he should feel like a god. Because for a player to have 93 agility, 88 dribbling, the 89 reactions, all of those uh, stats are going to obviously combine and just make him feel really good on the ball. Physicals, 85 stamina is pretty good, let's all be fair. 75 aggression, pretty decent. For a 5'9 player, I wouldn't say it's too bad. 67 strength though. Especially when you're consisting, consistently playing those Virgil van Dijk's, those Varans, those Opa Meccano's, those Klostermans. You already know Gabriel is most likely going to be shoulder barged off the ball. Now, when it comes down to links, I have linked him up with Suzoko and Rodriguez. I've also got Alan, Podence and Son in the team. If you guys haven't seen that Son review, the link will be in the description. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. Now, the positions I will be playing Gabriel in is a 4-2-3-1 in that lone striker role. But I feel like if he suffers in that lone striker role, I will most likely play him with a partner in the 4-4-2. But let's get into the games and let's see. I'm liking his dribbling. Like, just these little precise touches that he does is really, really good. But he doesn't feel absolutely insane on the ball. That's something I can say. Hammers. Gonna thread that ball all the way to Gabriel. Gonna go for a ball roll. Gonna go for the finesse And oh my god. That is probably the worst finesse shot I have ever seen in FIFA 21. Get that one, two going. Gonna try to time this. It is perfectly timed. Come on, get in behind there. Do not try to take me out. Wow. He's gonna move the keeper. Oh my god. I went for a finesse shot with his right foot and he took it with his left. I cannot believe I have missed that opportunity. Gabriel. Fake shot going up. Fake shot down. Take an extra touch for the finish. What am I seeing? What am I actually seeing? Can I not get a goal with Gabriel, please? Like, if it's not me shooting apparently with his left foot, it's apparently Son blocking the opportunity. Like, what's happening? Use that pace, Gabriel. Came behind once again, and that's something I'm loving from him. Little ball roll, round the keeper. Can I get my first goal? Yes, I can. 
finally it took its time to get that goal but it eventually got there really really good pace and that's something i'm noticing he is probably most effective when he actually runs in behind with that pace because you know as soon as you probably get past the keeper or you get past that first man it's most likely gonna go in i told him to make a run once again i'm just gonna click y there you go gabriel little dummy Use that R1 dribbling. Can I go for the cross goal finish? I can, but it did get saved. Now, that is a very tight angle. I am not expecting him to finish that. But that was a really good run. And it was really nice R1 dribbling to get past that defender. Came in behind once again. I'm going to go for a ball. Oh, he got it still. Good fake shot. Referee. Referee, where's my penalty? There's no way I can be any more unlucky right now. The fact that I have not scored multiple goals with him. The fact that I'm not getting penalties for that. Oh my. He's left Gabriel through the middle. I'm just going to try an over the top through ball. It's a beautiful touch. And he ends up missing with that freestyle week for oh my god. I cannot believe it because his run there was literally spot on. His touch as well was amazing. It's the fact that he has a three-star weak foot is the reason he did not finish that. Through the middle. Shield it off. Give it to Son. Ball rolls. Gabriel's in good positioning. Fake shot. Turn. Beautiful finish. Absolute beautiful finish. Do you see his positioning there, though? The fact that he found that much space on the edge of the box was unbelievable. I believe... If I saw it correctly, he ran offside and then he went straight back into position. So he gave me that passing option. So something I actually realized about Gabriel is his skill moves. They aren't amazing. Like his touches after I do like a lack of Keta, like right there, is not great because I can't really take an instant touch straight after that. I have to wait that split second and then do it. But that split second is a lot different. Is a big difference, trust me, because a player could tackle you fairly easily. You see how Rashford just did it there? You see how we kept the ball? very close to his feet and he instant turn oh my god the football boys boys even the hill the hill just the mug it oh my god the football the iq the focus as well did you literally see me i didn't say a single word until that ball went into the back of the net the reason i did the hill the hill is because i realized that this guy is actually pretty decent right i'm in division one we're playing decent players and i knew he was going to move the keeper as soon as i saw him move the keeper cheeky hill the hill give me the angle i'm gonna take it that's a good run Take shot down. Give me that angle for that power shot. I should have gone a bit more towards the goal. And that's my fault. He missed that. Maybe a quick one-two. It's a pretty decent one-two. And it's going to be a perfect. I could go for the sweat here. But I'm going to ball roll him. Why not? And I should have sweated it. What am I doing? Gabriel is definitely that kind of striker that if you are playing a person that is obviously playing a high line, you want him in that striker position because he is so, so fast. He gets in behind so easy and his attacking positioning is really good as well. Alan, Gabriel, flick up. Flick it forward. Oh no, don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. That's a new thing I'm actually adding to my game where if the person doesn't come towards me, I flick the ball up, flick it straight towards them and they do not get locked onto the ball. So I pretty much get like a wide open guaranteed goal. And obviously, as you clearly can see, Gabriel did end up finishing it. So it is time to review him. Two games played, four goals. But I'm telling you right now, this guy could have had at least six, maybe even seven. How many chances did he miss? was unbelievable i really could not go and get like three star weak foot i'm gonna be honest it's not bad this year but what he just showed me is how inconsistent a three star weak foot can really be and it gets really really annoying just knowing if you had a four star weak foot player in the same opportunity that he missed with that three star weak foot you could have scored it and that's what's always going to be in the back of my head when i shoot with that three star weak foot either way 830,000 coins. Is he worth it? No. I understand it's Manchester City. They're most likely going to get decently far in the Champions League. But how much upgrades do you really expect this card to get? For me personally, it's not going to be a lot. And is he going to be worth 830k in probably the next like two weeks? No. No chance. Five foot nine is obviously a decent height. High, high work rates allowed him with that attacking positioning to just make runs when I needed him, needed him to make runs. And obviously come short when I needed him to come short. Four star skill moves, really good. But the skill moves didn't feel, it didn't feel natural, let's say. It didn't feel like 
a Marcus Rashford doing it. It didn't feel like a Neymar doing it. It didn't feel like a Kylian Mbappe doing it. Yes, I did name three five-star skillers, but that's what I'm expecting with a person that has four-star skill moves. I'm expecting them to still feel really good while doing those skill moves. And that's the difference between, obviously, the Marcus Rashford, the Mbappes, the Neymars, and everyone that has, like, five-star skill moves, right? The fact that you can get better angles with those five-star skill moves than they can with people that has four-star skill moves. Now, three-star weak foot, I pretty much just said it, didn't I? Missing chance after chance is always going to be annoying. Pace. And I feel like his pace, by the way, was the best thing about him. So, he'll most likely be the highest rating when it comes down to these stats. So, for pace, I am going to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Shooting. I feel like the shooting was good, but I still can't give him a very high rating simply because of that three-star weak foot and how many chances it actually missed. So for shooting, I am going to give him an 8.3 out of 10. Passing ability was pretty much average. There was nothing really to talk about it. O-top three balls do not work with him. Short passing is pretty decent. So for passing, I am going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. Dribbling. He didn't feel amazing on the ball. He definitely didn't feel like 93 agility. That's something I can say, which is super disappointing because I really did want him to feel good on the ball. But I'm going to be honest, for dribbling, I am going to give him... I'll give him an 8.5 as well. But for physicals, I feel like the strength was better than 67. I didn't feel like it was that weak. And I felt like he fought for the ball with that 75 aggression. And I did see the stamina did lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes. So for physicals, I'm going to be honest, I'll give him like a 7.8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I will give him an 8.3. Huge things need to be improved in this card. 100%. The dribbling needs to be improved. The weak foot, hopefully, EA decide they want to give him an upgrade. Because if he does, it'll be interesting to see. Let's just say that. Uh, passing definitely needs a bit of upgrading. But that's pretty much it. I feel like the three-star weak foot is by far the thing that lets him down. Hands down. Like, he's not worth 830 k Let's all be honest. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment. And for now, peace.